Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Rochelle Goyle Monster High doll. This will just be a simple face-up video, as this was one of the dolls that I made for a recent convention that I could offer at a lower price point because I used a wig and a simple costume. At the time I'm recording this video, she's still available on my Etsy shop, and the link is in the description box below. I ended up making her into sort of a Batman character. She had, I used a corset with a Batman logo on it and then decorated her ears and her wings as sort of a, in Batman colors. So as usual, after about three coats of Mr. Super Clear, I went right in on the eyes. Rochelle has a beautiful face sculpt in my opinion, so she's always a pleasure to work on. I've done probably about two or three others. I always try to fight the features a little bit, make them a little bit different so they look like a completely different character than the original doll. So uh, to do that I got kind of go over the the regular line of the lip or under the regular line of the lip, make the eyes bigger or smaller than the sculpt. So going in on the lips, I'm refining it a little bit after using some pan pastel. I want them to be kind of red, so I'm using a crimson red Derwent watercolor pencil. And I keep erasing that center line because I just want that to be more of a highlight in her Cupid's bow. Now I'm doing a black line in the uh, corners of the mouth and just trying to get that shape the way I want it. Now I'm going in on the shading. I went with some skin tones and I'm really happy with how this came out. It looks like she's got kind of got super pale skin with some different colored freckles. So the skin tones I'm using a little bit more reddish than like a peachy color. And I'm blending that in with a Q-tip. Here you can see I'm using some of that Colorless Blender by Pan Pastel. And you can kind of get a good idea of what it does here. The cheeks were super red and it really blended them out. So doing some more contouring with my brush that I've cut short to a sort of a stencil-like brush. It's just a regular round brush, a small one. And then I'm going in with some more shading around the nose with a small angular brush. And the brush I'm using here, of course, is my trusty Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> more blending of that blush with the Pan Pastel. I just feel like it was a little bit too much. That's one good thing about the Colorless Blender. It kind of takes it down a notch. I like to have it more red right on the apples of the cheeks and then blend it out from there. So going in on the ears with some uh, black there to do some shading. And honestly, I think I ended up cutting these uh, off to put on the wig. So I did the work and then I decided that I didn't want the ears. <laughs> so I cut them off and then I adhered a wig. And 
the wig she has is removable and washable. It's uh, hand sewn, I believe. I hand sew some of my wigs and then some of them they're glue and some of them are just faux fur. So in on the eyes I'm using a Caran d'Ache in a sort of a gray color. It's like a grayish brown and it's a Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle and you can see how creamy beautiful that goes on. And then I'm blending that out with a Derwent uh, in sort of a gold color. And I'm using the Caran d'Ache White to blend that together. Going back with the gold from Caran d'Ache, I think I used mainly Caran d'Ache colors in the eyes here. and then making a black pupil. Now going in with some white and doing some highlighting around the corners of the eyes, the, around the waterline. Darkening in the nostrils. And on with the eyelashes. For the eyelashes I'm using, you can see here I have a pencil extender because I'm down to my very last couple of Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. They're like an Aquarell. Faber Castell and they're very hard lead and it's my favorite thing to do eyelashes with because it keeps a good sharp point. So I'm using that pencil extender because the pencil's been sharpened very far down. There's almost nothing left. It's <laughs> so going in and adding some highlights there. And then I'll go in and add a couple of coats of well about three or four coats of Mr. Super Clear for the final coats and then some gloss on the eyes. And then here I'm going to show you the detail that I did on the wings. While I'm doing that, I'll just say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the new subscribers and subscribers that have remained with me for the past couple of years. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you could do that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Have a great day. Bye.